In quadrilateral ABCD below, AB is parallel to CD. So let's label that so I know that these two sides are going to be parallel. E, H, and F are midpoints of AD, AC, and BC, respectively. So let's label those, okay? So E is the midpoint of AD, so therefore these two segments are going to be the same. H is going to be the midpoint of AC, so these two are going to be the same. And F is the midpoint of BC, which is then these two segments are going to be the same. AB is equal to 24. CD is equal to 18. And AH is equal to 10. So if I know that AH is equal to 10, I also know that HC, therefore, is equal to 10. Uh, so the question is to find out what is the length of FH. The length of FH. Well, looking at this, right, um, you should be able to recognize the um, the situation right here. And let me try to outline this so you can see it better. That what I have here, this triangle, is going to be similar to this triangle. And why is that? Well, that's because, that's because both triangles are sharing this angle there, right? And this is, um, and the next thing I'm about to say is based off of the um, side splitter theorem, which basically says if you have the two sides of the, um, uh, of the triangle here, they, they are they are split in half. These are midpoints, right? Of the two sides of the triangle. What will end up happening is you'll end up with the side lengths um, e, uh, HF and AB therefore are also going to be parallel as a result of this. So because of this, okay, we then have these angles are going to be end up being the same. So why is that important? Well, that's because our goal is to figure out what is HF. So I want to call that X right there. So I know that X to 10, and which 10 am I referring to? I'm referring to this 10 right here. X divided by 10, right? So this is um, for triangle HCF. This proportion should hold true compared to the big triangle, ACB. So which side corresponds with X? Well, that's a side length of 24. Which side length corresponds with side length 10? Well, that's AC, right? And that has a length of 20. So what is X going to equal to then as a result? Well, that's just, if I multiply both sides by 10, I end up with 24 over 20 times 10, well, 10 and 20, they become 2, so I end up with 12 as a result. So HF is going to be a length of 12. And again, the trick is just recognizing that I have that triangle there and to use the side splitter theorem. For, um, for finding proportional sides in a triangle.